Well, I'm going to finish up the last bit of the bodywork. Still have quite a long short list, but just need to start knocking things down. I've got the vent cut up here in the scoop. And I'm going to end up using a screen behind there. I'll cut the screen the shape I want and uh, poke it through there. Just use some hooks or something. Put a couple dabs of glue, pull that up tight. And I'll have that painted the same color as the car probably, just like the rest of the screens. Been doing some different designs. Trying to figure out which shape I want. I'm thinking I like this shape better. So, who knows, I may change my mind again before I finally cut through that. I try and keep the look of the car the same. You know, if I cut the vents one way on the front, I want to cut them the same way on the back. You know, if I got rounded edges up front, I want rounded edges on back. <clears throat> so, I usually try and keep that in mind when I'm designing a car. You know, if I got one size gap on the doors, I want the same size gaps on the back and the front. So, you just kind of go with a the theme. Seems like it looks better like that in the end. And uh, so, yeah, the vents I got to do. I'm putting the wiper in right now. Probably going to use some type of rubber grommet around there so you don't hear the vibration or the clunk when that thing moving. And I may have to cut down some of this hood. In order to clear that if it even fits so and um working on the back me and my boy have been trying to figure out a good design back here I think that's what we're going to use These are the Camaro lights that are going to go in there. These are an LED, an aftermarket light. And um, they got a pretty neat light show. Sequential blinkers. Um, they call it a burst brake light. And then there's uh, a show mode, which you can hook up which I'm probably going to hook up to a button you know for some kind of launch control button so when I use my launch control and showing off I can uh, hit a button which will start a sequence of uh, lights flashing you know a light show as the motors bouncing off the rev limiter <clears throat> and with the ISIS I haven't dug into it at all, but with the ISIS system, I should be able to program a button which will trigger a launch control sequence for the lights. So that should be cool. But yeah, put those Camaro lights in here. Got to make a pocket for them to fit in. I'm going to have my boy help me teach him some skills and doing stuff like that um, you know and again going with the theme you know since the lights are this shape I'm going to change this pocket back here and make it the shape of the lights I ordered a uh, third brake light from uh, Corvette C5 Corvette which it is made to fit in and it's LED aftermarket and it's kind of neat because the same way these lights shine back here 
they've got little uh, reflectors for these LEDs and they shine the same way so it's going to look the same as the lights so that'll be cool and it's kind of a rounded off shape but I'll inlay that inside here and I'll make the body show the same shape you know as the rest of the lights for that third light and then I gotta incorporate a license plate light in there which I got coming that's a LED light also and then I think and I'm gonna make some kind of vent down here maybe down lower to where it centers right on this arch and goes down in more and then I went ahead and got a couple of small little fog lights which I'm going to use as reverse lights and I'll tuck those inside that vent so those will be sitting down in there in that arch and this car so low you won't even see them probably and I'll make that vent the same shape as the tail lights and so yeah I sat around for a whole week thinking and dreaming and wondering <clears throat> I think I got a good idea so how to do it now so I think it's time to go with it with the lights I'm just gonna get some extensions for these posts make a flat plane put a piece of fiberglass on there cut a hole out for my light right there the end of it, an access hole. Wrap around here enough times with a piece of tape to kind of get the right thickness that I want the body in between the light. Stretch some pantyhose from the out, you know, lens to the plate that I put on here. And fiberglass it in. And that'll make a nice little pocket that I should be able to unbolt and bolt back in. And then all I got to do is laminate that pocket in here. So we'll see what happens. Got the wiper done. Low profile version. I had to bend the arm, sink that down in there farther, bring this corner up a bit so it didn't touch the blade. And then uh, do some cutting on the hood back here to give it access so when it goes full full circle um, it goes over pretty far kinda hangs off over here so there's a big section that doesn't get wiped but that's no big deal That came out pretty good though. Got that mounted on there. Nothing's tight at the moment. It's all sitting in there loose. I made a shim and dropped that down in there as far as I could so the top of that post is just barely poking out of there and it's just barely clearing the glass and barely clearing the hood. So yeah, it just barely fits. <laughs> But it does fit and it does work, so we're good to go. And got the mirrors on. I got pretty lucky on that, I think, because that's hard to get those on there and have them uh, look right. You know, when you look down the front of the car, have them both sit in the same way. So it came out pretty good. I just held them up here, kind of in the same spot of the car. You know, I tried to get a level line down here, but each mirror is kind of different. Each mirror is angled a little bit different. You know, I suppose for the driver. 
obviously. But I just took a level and stuck it across here. Made sure that part was straight up and down on both of them. And kind of eyeballed it where it looked like they were going to be the same. Then I marked my holes and drilled them, stuck them down in there and bolted them on and came out pretty good. So I got lucky. Of course my hood isn't latched down so it may not look level but they're sitting there pretty good. So that works. Now I'm putting on the rocker guards and I'm just going to drill through a couple spots and use the stainless same stainless bolts that I used down here on the splitter and I'll make that where that's a bolt on bolt off piece I'm going to use some nut certs and a couple spots in the middle up under the frame which will also pinch the body and hold the bottom part of the body on there so I'll get that done on both sides and then I gotta run a line down this edge file that down grind it off file it down get that cleaned up leveled off uh, taper this edge a little bit get those uniform front and back right and left so yeah I'll get those mounted on there finish getting my vents cut out and I got my tin back up in here this one piece that was in the back I had to make sure that it still fit because of this extension that I put in there. Which it does actually works good because I'll put a couple rivets down through there into the top of that piece. And that'll tie that all in together. So it's getting kind of nice because now I'm sitting here trying to think if there's anything anything else I need to do so I'm getting close haven't done anything on the back yet my boy's been sick so I'm getting everything else wrapped up first and we'll get the back of that thing attacked yeah there it is looking good it's getting there And I went and doubled up the amount of bolts. Went and got the hardware. It's one of the main spots that holds the body on, so I figured I might as well go for it and hold it on. And this really acts as a nice stiffener right here for these wheel wells. <coughs> so that really helps tie that in so that was nice we got my vents cut and getting closer getting closer gonna uh, finish off the edges a little bit right here get my tin put in in the wheel well and hopefully my boy gets done being sick because I want him to help me do the back of this thing oh I guess I could do the splitter I mean the uh, diffuser get that going get that mounted in there got this set in here you know this is pretty flat compared to a round surface it was really wanting to rock so I actually ground that off flat a couple spots so it sits down in there better I 
I'm getting excited now. It's starting to look pretty good. <laughs> 